day we had the eclipse, didn't we? Um, all across America. So I hope you enjoyed that. What a, an exciting and, and special day that is for all of you. Um, and of course, we've got a new moon to boot and Aries is prominent. So for all of you, Arians out there uh, have a great week because it is your time to shine. Now, that's a good thing to know, isn't it? So today we are looking at those love relationships around all of you. And I'm going to be using cards. I've got my tarot cards ready, as always, because I do like to just, you know, get some time scales with cards and really look a little bit more in depth into your circumstances, see what is happening in your relationships to help me. I'm using my amethyst crystal ball. I'm just illuminating this here for you so you can see some of the energies that are accumulating here in the amethyst crystal. It's one of my very, very special crystal balls that I use. I love to have a look into the crystal, look right into the center so that you can see a little bubble. Perhaps you can practice doing this with me during the show when you see um, what I can see or perhaps have a look at some of your own images. Um, but here you've got a bright light right into the center of the crystal ball. And this is being illuminated here with lots and lots of chasms and shapes. And I'm looking at how we can adapt all of these images, these universal images into predictions for you. So when I look into the crystal, it's just about seeing some of those really, really strong images so that we can say, look, I feel that there's somebody coming towards you. I can perhaps see an initial. I can see exactly um, where you are going to find your happiness. So it's time to dig deep. And we're looking here at our first caller, Alison. Hello there from Colorado. Hello to you. How are you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. How are you? I'm very, very well, really well. And let's just have a look now and see what we can see in the crystal ball for you. Alison, I'd like you just to, to see um, the crystal. Can you see that there on the screen? Are you looking at the no, screen, Alison? You can't see it, no? No, I'm not. Oh, you're I'm not, sorry. okay. Oh. No, it's all right. It's okay. Um, it's nice if, if somebody can, but we, all of our other viewers will be fascinated, I know. So I'm looking deep into the crystal ball here. It's the amethyst one. Now, this is for love, and it is for new beginnings that are going to come into your life. I feel that there's an ending and a new start here for you. Now, this is going to really captivate all of your um, facilities, I suppose, all of your energies, all of your aspirations too. And I do see you um, having to really think again about what it is that you want, what it is that you can have for yourself and how you're going to make those gains, how, how you're going to get there. Um, and this is you know, really sort of strong, I think. Um, and I, I feel that that's where you can be um, just expanding your life and really taking yourself into the very sort of next step. It's a bit of a leap of faith, I have to say. Um, you are going to have to dive in and just expect that some of those prospects are going to be renewed for you. Are you in a relationship right now? Because this can also affect existing partnerships, existing relationships too. So is that your situation at the moment, Alison? Uh, well, I've been married for 35 years. So. Right, okay, so we have a renewal then. And this is really exciting because it's going to affect you the most. And when you get a renewal of energy or um, I, I suppose starting again in an existing relationship, it can really prove to be something extremely powerful, very special. And I feel that this is something that you really do need to, to have in your life. Um, the new beginnings, though, are creative and they will 
exacerbate your plans. So if you're planning to um, start a new job or move home or really look at a new career turn, that's going to be available to you. It's also a new start in your faith. So this is about your convictions um, with perhaps looking at spirit, mediumship, spirituality, your psychic senses, which I think are very heightened. And that's what I could see in the crystal, this really tiny sort of ball of energy that just exploded right into the center. And that gave me the sense of, well, this lady is very switched on. You know, you are in perfect harmony with yourself. I think you're quite driven. You know exactly where you want to be and where you want to go. I do feel some sadness and disappointment though um, in your heart here, sort of in your heart. Do you have any problems with your heart? I must ask you that because I, I keep he hearing this sort of thump, thump, thump. What, what's that all about? Have you had some um, blood pressure problems or issues at all with your heart, Alison? Uh, like physically? Yeah. yeah. Uh, let me see. I Well, I do have low blood pressure, so um, that's always been an issue. Ah, oh, okay. Same here. I do too. It makes, makes you able to cope with lots and lots of different things. If it's not a physical thing that is going on here with your heart, because this is your heart racing rather than your heart being slow and um, lethargic mm. and not having that get up and go, then it will be because spirit is calling you and you've been visited. I, I feel that spirit have come to see you, they've sat and chatted with you. There's a lady here who is so very special and she's come in, she's come into your crystal and um, I will just show that crystal again to everybody because it's really quite special when we see this. So what I've been looking at is the crystal really right in center um, is amethyst. I want to see you to see that, that space there right into the center of the crystal ball. This is where spirit really show themselves to me. Um, I do have this lovely energy that's floating around, not a bit lost, not really knowing where she is quite, um, but she's surrounding herself with your energy. So she sees your light. She comes in very closely um, to see exactly where you're staying, where you are, where your heart is, um, what is happening to you and where your sort of sphere of energy is. And it's a bit like your enveloped here in this white light that's all around your head. It's all around like a bit of a halo that's hanging over you. Um, it's very special and you have to take this as a sign of a goddess sort of energy that is being given to you. Um, so this must be your mother, your grandmother, um, I also have the initial of C very strongly here. And I, I really feel that there's a Christine around you, or Christina. Um, who is wow. that to you? That would be my great grandmother. Okay. Well, it's her then. Now, she's been bringing in other family members too. So she's the, like at the top of the line she's come a long way and i knew that which is why we had to grapple with that crystal ball and really pull her along and she shouted that was it christine or was there an ah at the end was it christine nah what what was her uh, actual name um I'm, i thought i think it was christine i do christine. have my mother's name is roberta Ah, okay. That's probably where the app is coming because she's trying to talk to me, but it's a long, long way away. And, you know, we are oceans apart. So it's really quite magical that she's here and that she, yeah. I know that your mother is with you as well. So she's bringing bringing family members through the ages, you know, through those platforms. They're all coming down to see you. Alison, you really have to take some strength from this and open your heart, open your mind to new possibilities. And these possibilities for you are all going to be about expanding that um, connection, expanding your um, ability to 
really look into your heart and look into some space and time and connect your own psychic abilities. You have them and really focus on your dreams too, because your dreams are very powerful. And that's when your mother, your great grandmother and other family members are coming in. There's a man here in an army uniform as well, sort of oh. neighbor, he, very strong. Who is he? Is he your grandfather? That's I think it's my dad. Oh, your dad. So with the, the uniform, very strong sort of patriotic type of man. Um, I think great inspiration for you. Very strong kindness in his heart is what I feel. But did he pass over with this heart, this heart problem? I feel that maybe that's why I connected to that straight away, Alison, that somebody here has been showing me this really pounding heart. It could be the excitement of seeing you and being blessed with your company in spirit today. And that I feel is, you know, a very, very special event to happen. Um, so we have a crowd now. We have a few people who <laughs> gathered to say hello and I'm thrilled to be able to bring that sense of spirit to you and for you to be able to laugh and enjoy because I feel that you have had ups and downs I mean nothing massively traumatic I think you were expecting things to happen when people pass over sometimes it's not really that much of a surprise uh, but I feel for you that you've been stoic you've been able to be responsible and really capture the strong element of those individuals that have passed over and help those who have stayed here who have still got life to live and this is one of the messages that I want to give to you that your life is very long there is a long life I've been looking for the horizons in the future for you and they're so far away very distant and that gives you longevity um, so if I was doing a palm reading for you I'd be looking at the wrist and how many um, bands that you had here these are bands of extra decades that go around your wrist. So I'd be looking at those and saying, counting them, maybe you can, because that's an extra decade for each band that you have. I call them bangles. So if you have got some bangles around your wrist, then um, you're in for a, a long inning. So don't be frightened to tackle those important elements, so to tackle things that you really want to do. And I feel that this is a new beginning for you. Perhaps use this eclipse here of the sun this week and the new moon, um, really being able to start afresh and put things in place, set your intentions now. It's been a joy speaking to you, Alison. I wish you well, and I wish you lots of happiness in your changes and um, blessings as well that Spirit have come through so powerfully. So uh, I hope you enjoyed your reading with me here, Eleanor Grace, and I will see you again soon. If you want to further any of you want to further your readings that are free online, then you can always get a hold of me on my website and you can book appointments, you can book readings, you can book email readings with me there. And that's at gracedestiny.com. It's all, all below here. So we're, we're showing it all below. Now we have um, another caller. I've not got the name on screen. It's Kathy. Hello there, Kathy. Now, uh, how are you, Kathy? You good today? Oh boy. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on and I just really need some guidance because um, okay. my my son is uh, has epilepsy. He was life flighted out and he's trying to get a service dog, which is coming through. But there's other issues around, you know, all that stuff. Oh, uh, well, let's have a look into the cards here for you. I'll quickly take a, a peek into the other crystal ball as well. Um, can you see the screen at all? Are you watching live? Are you or are you listening? I'm listening right now. Good. Let me um, just take some cards now and see what is coming through for you, 
Kathy. I think you're a wonderful woman. I have to say that you've, you've had a lot to deal with. Now we've got this um, card from the tarot. This is all about surprises, hidden surprises, I have to say, and those are hidden for you, from you as well. You've got to make some decisions though, and I feel that um, perhaps other people's decisions have, have really sort of gone against you and that you have really been fighting you know, some of the authorities really around you. Um, red tape is here, you know, not a pleasant feeling, I don't feel. And, you know, that sometimes we, we just get this, don't we, where we seem to be fighting just a losing battle. Well, that's the situation with you, but you're the Empress. So do you know what? This is the Empress card. Now, the Empress here will give you, oh, that's it, we're seeing it now on, on screen. The Empress will give you the empowerment, that initial energy boost that just makes you think, do you know what, I can deal with this and I'm going to. It's like superhuman powers, you're gonna get those. And um, they are also being given to you from spirit as well. There is a, a presence around you all the time. And I really do want to tell you about um, the spirit that's come in to connect with you today because I feel that you need a push and sometimes maybe if you've had a few stumbles or a few falls you know just trips and you know balancing things recently then I've just got this little push coming here from spirit oh wake up you know don't forget what I've taught you, what I've, I've told you, what, what you've listened to in the past, but it's words of love and words of encouragement that are coming through to you. So watch out for this sort of little tiny stumble or perhaps, you know, you feel as though you're dancing to the radio and listening to music and then some, suddenly, um, you sort of stop. There's a break in the fluid movement of your life. Now, Kathy, you need to be aware that when spirit come around you, you will feel that there's a slightly different sensation. You've got a little bit of cold air. There's some hairs that go up on the back of your neck. And that's what I'm feeling around you, particularly here in help with your son. Um, but he's not the only one that you help, is he? You know, you are going to be tackling those ones in authority around you because you need more help and there's help coming. So I think that you've got to gather strength with that. Let me just take another card. You've also got to be thinking about finances and resources. What do you have? What can you gain? And that's also another level of help that's coming to you. And I also have spirit close. Um, I'm looking to see who this is, Kathy, because I just want to focus now onto the crystal. Let's get a little bit of help for you from Spirit by using um, the crystal. We're going into the amethyst crystal again. It's illuminated now at the top of the crystal ball. That says to me it's your higher mind. Now you need to meditate a bit. You need to be bringing in some of those higher thoughts and energies, particularly in your dreams. And I do have those loved ones in spirit gathering around you. It's a man that I feel is the strongest and he's come forward as quite a, a character, um, would have been happy to have a go at anything, would have taken anything on, um, very protective around those ones that he loved and also very removed. So he could have been quite a strict character if you didn't know him very well. So he wasn't a person to approach um, unnecessarily. Is this your father that has passed over? Um, because there's another man that's standing by him. And I feel that that's his brother or brother-in-law, but there's two men together. Does that make sense to you, Cathy? Um. I know that my father was military. Um, I know that he, he was probably very strict. Um, I didn't get to meet him in person. No. Well, you're meeting him now. I felt that there was an estrangement. 
but he is with a Conrad or a brother and he is regretful but he's been protecting you. He's been regretful that he hasn't seen you, hasn't had the opportunity um, to spend lots of loving moments with you. But in his time, that wasn't possible. When, when he was here, um, it, it wasn't up to him. He didn't, have, right, right. he didn't have the chance, but he wanted to. So he does come to you in your dreams. He is somebody that you can rely upon in many ways now. You can ask questions. You can say to him, well, okay, what do I do here, Dad? Didn't see you, didn't see your face. I didn't have that energy with me. But what I do have is you now, and I know that you're a part of me. I think that he's particularly interested in your son and I feel that he had a lot of knowledge about your son's ailments too. Perhaps he suffered in a milder way or he experienced others who had similar conditions or even the same conditions. Now I've drawn a card for you. This is the card of justice and the justice card will tell you that it's time now. It's time for you to look at things very truthfully and honestly and decide for yourself what it is that you really want. And again, I do have new changes and new developments that can take you into, oh, I think, very special places. Your son will last a lot longer than you realise. I feel that his longevity recently over the last year or so has actually been down to you is that right is have you been the one that has actually kept him going Kathy yeah yeah but you've had help yeah. too haven't you there's a woman by your side who I feel has helped you uh, she feels close by a good heart a good neighbor a good friend um, and a person that you can rely upon. She's always going to, it's like she's been sent from angels. There's a goddess energy around her and I do have angels with you. There's blessings that are coming to you as well. Do you go to a church? There is a church that I saw in the crystal ball. Um, let me let me just put this up again. You may not have the faith to believe it's not about that, but it is about a building because I am seeing a building here and perhaps it's a place that you can go to just to get some peace, some quiet, some opportunity to relax and to really feel as though everything is, is happening for a reason. Um, is there a church that you visit? No, I don't have one right now. Is there a church locally? I mean, just the building, even just the outside of a church? Well. If, you, if you're not going into one for faith reasons or anything else, then there's a church that you will visit. It's here. It's prominent in your crystal. And this is a church that is not about death. It's not about a funeral. It's about new beginnings and a beautiful place for you to just sit and feel quite content. Maybe you'll be invited to a glorious occasion um, because I feel that there's celebrations coming here for you. October seems to be an important month. Was that a birthday month around you, Kathy? You or those close to you? Uh, my sister. Was it? Um, did she have something particular that was a problem for her that came to light in October around her birthday? Did she confide in you? Because there were secrets there that were needed to be revealed. And, you know, I feel that she wanted to share those. So if she didn't, then grab a hold of her in the coming weeks, if you can, make the effort, go and talk to her, because I feel that this is um, a real, really good time where you know, she can perhaps unload a little bit herself. So you, and down to you, there's a fork here in the road. There's a crossroads that you're approaching. You have to make a judgment call. It's in your cards, but the truth is coming out. So if you have been really pressing 
authorities or pressing for help or money or resources or really just for a break for yourself, then you're going to get it. It's coming to you. There's letters that are arriving as well. I can see letters and your name and everything being addressed here to you. So it's your attention that is being looked out for. And that's not just from close friends, neighbours, authorities, or your loved ones here, or your family members here. This is also from spirit. So your father that sadly you never met, but it wasn't his fault. He does implore that upon you. He's coming in now to help your son and he knows how to do that. He is going to comfort him, making things better and making things better for you too. Do you live um, near the ocean or are you planning a trip to the water? I've got water that's coming in and you being able to just really feel the healing powers of the water. Is that something that you like to do, Cathy? Uh, yeah, water is really good for me. <laughs> <laughs> you like it. Okay. Can you access that? Is it near to where you are? Is it something that you can do fairly quickly? Because that would help you a great deal, just that break to get away. And you know what? I feel that problems are disappearing. Be positive, smile, meditate a lot just before you go to sleep at night. Think about your father, look at a photograph that um, belonged to, to him, that now belongs to you, a photograph of him, put him in your mind's eye, put him in that night sky just before you go to sleep and ask him to bring benefits to you, resources to you, help, kindness and understanding in your plight. When you started talking about my dad, I started getting body chills. Are you? Oh, I, th I feel he's there. So the body chills, I'm really not surprised about because I am too, you know, I feel, feel very shivery and very cold. Kathy, it's yeah. been wonderful to speak to you. We've come to the end of the show now, so I'm sorry to have to Thank love you. and leave you, but um, good luck and all the best here for your son too. Okay, guys, it's been Eleanor Grace, and uh, it's been lovely to do your readings for you today. I hope all of you make a wish as well on the new moon and the eclipse. And don't forget, set your goals, make some intentions this week. It's going to be your week. And I'll see you same time here next week on A1R Psychic Radio and Moonstruck TV. Eleanor from London. Quick wave. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.